Hello everybody, this video is about the continuous cooling transformation diagram in which I will briefly describe about the construction of continuous cooling transformation diagram and its importance to the heat treaters. So friends, let's start our discussion without wasting any time. So far we have seen that when we cool down alloys by equilibrium cooling then we get microstructures as predicted by their equilibrium phase diagram. But when we cool down alloys isothermally at different temperatures then we get microstructures as predicted by their time temperature transformation diagram. Actually TTT diagrams also have limited applications because in practice Transformation during heat treatment occurs by continuous cooling, not isothermally. So, a diagram which can correlate time, temperature and transformation with continuous cooling will be of great value to the heat treaters. For the construction of CCT diagram for a eutectoid steel, we will take a large number of small steel samples of same composition and heat them up above the lower critical temperature and maintain at this temperature for a sufficiently long period of time so as to obtain a homogeneous austenitic structure. From this temperature specimen are cooled at a constant cooling rate and points corresponding to start of transformation and end of perlite transformation are determined. By repeating the same process at various cooling rates, different sets of start and end points for perlitic transformation are obtained. If the time is recorded on the logarithmic scale and temperature on Celsius scale, then we can construct a diagram including all the three parameters that is time, temperature and transformation together with continuous cooling transformation as shown in this diagram. On joining the start and end points, two curves similar to those in TTT curves corresponding to start and end of perlitic transformation are obtained. These diagrams are often more useful than TTT diagrams because it is more convenient to cool materials at a certain cooling rate than to cool quickly and hold at a certain temperature as in isothermal cooling. So friends this is the end of video. Please stay connected with us.